Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to your Word 2010 tutorial part 7. And today we will be talking about shapes and charts. So, inserting shapes in Word 2010 is becoming really simple. All you need to do is click this drop down menu right here. And here are all the shapes you can choose from you have rectangles, arrows, basic shapes, whatever and you can even create new drawing canvas and let's say I want to insert an arrow right here and once you insert a shape you literally have even more options to choose from you can have you can have a uh, change the color of the arrow you can even make this arrow uh, a different type of arrow I guess you can Literally, there's drop down menus for hundreds and hundreds of choices. So, you can go ahead and experiment them. I don't want to try them all out, or you guys are probably going to be bored to death by the time I'm done. So, there here is shape, and it's relatively simple. And the next part of my tutorial is actually inserting charts. And inserting charts is actually quite fun and a bit tricky in Word 2010. So first of all, you need to click this chart tab, select the chart you want. Again, there's hundreds of those charts available. You have column charts, pie chart, bar chart, surface chart, donut chart, bubble chart. So let's say I want a traditional column chart. I'll click column, I'll click OK. And what you see is um, an Excel window actually pops up. So this window pops up because um, it actually is uh, the data for the chart. So as you can see, category 1, which is this category, series 1, this uh, blue one, series 2, the red one, and series 3, the green one. And here are all their datas and stuff. Let's say I want I don't want category one. I want uh dogs. Category two. I want to change it to cats. And as you can see, as as I'm typing, the uh, the the chart changes correspondingly. And let's say uh, monkeys. So as soon as I click to I click away, the chart changes correspondingly, which is quite cool and the value I can change to obviously and and uh, let's say you're like you know what I only want maybe two series I don't want three I want two so what you can do is simply drag or hold on to this uh, the bottom right corner and click this thing and just simply drag over here and as you can see the series become only one and two and obviously if you want four of the series you can drag the bottom right corner thing again drag it out to however uh, columns you want let's say I want four and here I have four so it's actually quite uh, nice quite simple so I'll just input some data right here. So let's say I'm done with it. I close the Excel chart and I'm like, ah, oh, man, I need to change something. What you can do is click the design tab and click edit data, and this thing's gonna pop right back up. And again, with charts, you have so much options that I'm not gonna bother to go through all of them. You can literally do tons of stuff you can choose where your legend is going to be which is this thing you can choose it to be at left at right no legend literally there's hundreds of options for you to explore you can even insert picture which I talked about in the previous tutorials insert text box whatever so this is it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll see you next time.